Well, that's different. Yes. Lots of people wandering around looking lost as much as we are. Were you looking for Zoe then? No, we haven't seen another soul for about 20 minutes now. Both wing mirrors are touching the hedge. You might want to change your underwear. I would shit a brick if someone was in there. These little dots here, these are cows. If you have any idea what I'm talking about, let us know. The sandwich chef is not in today. And uh, now we're on the ferry. 20 to 8, let's see what the day is like. Well, that's different. Loads of mist. Well, at least it's not raining. We are on day nine of our trip around Ireland, except it's actually Wales. We're in Monmouth at the moment. We're just about to leave the, the campsite. Yeah. And we're gonna do a bit of exploring of the Forest of Dean, starting with Puzzlewood. This is Puzzlewood. Uh, we're at the moment sitting in a v very uncomfortable chair made out of branches. Oh, goodness, I've got a, something sticking in me here. Um, but you can see behind us, look at that. Quite interesting behind us. Puzzlewood is a location for many movies, including Star Wars, Avengers, or Thor, one of those two, and uh, Doctor Who and Merlin. Loads of films uh, and TV were filmed here. You're going to be famous. How are you finding it though? Mm. Not just this uncomfortable, another uncomfortable seat. Yeah, there's lots of seats, isn't there? We, yeah, we made out of branches. Have to keep using. Yeah. Lots of people wandering around looking lost as much as we are. Mm. Yeah. But uh, it's very green, mossy. Peaceful. That's some sort of Spanish moss, isn't it? When it comes off the trees like that. <laughs> she thinks I'm making it up, I do. You? What? So why is it Spanish moss? I had no idea. This definitely looks like a film location, doesn't it? maybe Force Awakens or the Huntsman. Now I said Thor earlier or the Avengers, but I think it was the Huntsman, another film with whatever his face is in it. Not gonna lie, um, I've been doing filming. Zoe's wandered off and now we're lost. She's over there somewhere, but I'm just following these paths. Thing is, it's living up to its name, this puzzle would, because they actually give you junctions, it's not just one, one way round it. It's not like a circuit, there's many shortcuts and turns and uh, junctions. And now it's raining. I'm not getting wet though, I haven't felt any drips, I can hear it in the canopy. Amazing. Oh yeah, that was me slipping. Oh god, it goes on, it goes on and on. Right, should we put the kettle on? Might do a cup of tea. Yeah, I do. Well, I found Zoe, and then we found this bench to have a lovely picnic. Very magical place to have a picnic, I think. Were you looking for Zoe then? No. These stones are so slippery, and also the mud. Now, I'm sure I've seen this place in a few movies before. I couldn't tell you which movies, though. I'm thinking probably a Star Wars film. What do you think? We haven't seen another soul for about 20 minutes now. So either they're all lost or we're lost. So it's day 10 of mm -hmm. our trip round Ireland. Yep. But we're actually in Wales. Yeah. And we're at the Doard campsite in the Forest of Dean. In the middle of Forest of Dean. Yes. Not too far away from Simmons yet, actually. So we're, which we're is where go we're, there now. Which is where we're going to go today. We're going to take a walk, maybe see King Arthur's Cave, whatever that is. It's a cave. Well, it's just Arthur's Cave, isn't it? Yes. Which is just literally just through the hedge there, I think someone said. Oh, okay. 
But this campsite is quite nice, isn't it? It is lovely, yeah. Very it's very quiet. quiet. Yeah, very quiet. Uh, oh. Bit narrow getting up here though. Both wing mirrors are touching the hedge. <laughs> you don't want to, you might want to change your underwear. Well, that's afterwards. probably why you can't arrive here till after 2.30 and you have to leave by 10.30. Oh, and no caravans. Well, I can Probably under, due to the same I reasons. I can understand why, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's get walking. I think we found King Arthur's cave. Quite spooky, isn't it? Do you not think? Mm. I'm going to have a little look in. Ooh, very spooky. Now, we spread some information that said that hyena bones were found in here as well as uh, woolly rhino, woolly mutt mammoth. Oh, it goes up even further. Now, no idea why it's called King Arthur's Cave. No. It goes all the way down there. Normally, caves are called such because the famous person in the name was uh, hiding here. Well, I don't know if that's true in this case. What about this one? Oh, there's a bit of light in here, that's weird. See that there? Where's that light coming from? Oh wow, coming from behind me. I would shit a brick if someone was in there. We are now heading down to the River Y. Well, we hope we are. Well, we th I think we are, actually, because we're going downhill. There's no signs or anything. No. And there are quite a few paths. I've got a little map. Which tells us nothing. It, no, it, it's given me hints about, you know, you've got to go downhill to get to the <laughs> river. Well, it's simpler. But um, it also says on the map that um, there's some caves nearby, and I think there's just one over there, just through there. So... Uh, but we don't want to divert Yeah, the I don't want to can't be bothered to go all the way over there and have a look but now I'm starting to walk over there let's have a look oh it's not a cave it's just a huge outcrop with a fallen and now dead tree <sighs> I've got to go back now though oh geez <laughs> this is what I do want to do <laughs> yeah getting there was easy enough but coming back d down was the uh, the bit I wasn't looking forward to and what was going to put me off but didn't. What we learned from the puzzle wood yesterday mm. was that this is all limestone. Forest of Dean is famous for limestone and this type of craggy countryside, this scenery here with all the moss. And I think this is King Arthur's Gate. How in the hell do you know that? <laughs> well, we found the river. We just need to follow it now to civilization. We found the bridge that we need to cross. This is called King Arthur's Bridge. No, another name I've made up. And why not? I love the uh, the view, but we're heading in that direction. So we've walked along the side of the river, which is very flat. And now to get to Simmons Yap Rock. We need to climb up the other side. So all that walking down we did, we got to walk up the other side of the valley. And while we were walking up here, something really strange happened. Two separate couples asked us the same question. And that is, is there a red house down here? And I thought, I looked at the first guy and I thought, I do not know. I haven't got a clue why you're asking me whether there's a red house. Apparently, the Red House is in the uh, show on Netflix, uh, Sex Education, I think he said it was called. Never seen it. Apparently, it's very funny. Julian Anderson. Was it Julian Anderson? Julian Anderson. So this is Sidman's Yat Viewpoint. Now, why is it called a viewpoint? Well, it looks over Y Valley. Look at this. Spectacular views from up here. And in the past, when we've been here, just these rock formations, that's where we could see a peregrine falcon. I do love coming here. These, uh, these little dots here, these are cows. 
and the River Wye, as you can see, comes around here, goes off in that direction, around here, and then joins up where we were on the other side of where we're standing now. So it comes around here and down there. You can't see the river from here, but yeah, there's, trust me, the river is just down there. <laughs> So now we're going back down to the river to get some lunch and a few beers inside us, I think. Now we come across this very large log uh, which has got hundreds of coins pushed into it. Now I wanted to do the same, uh, but all I've got is a fiver. Do you think they give change? I wonder if this is the red house they were talking about. It's a little bit brown rather than red, but it uh, does look very nice though, very posh. If you have any idea what I'm talking about, let us know. Comments in the doobly-doo. Okay, so we need to cross the river again. Last time we did use the bridge, a bit further up there, but we're not walking all the way down there. We're gonna use this. This is a ferry, which is pulled by the guy, pulls himself along uh, using this very long rope. Two pounds per adult. Right, Zoe goes first. The reason why we're not eating at Saracen's Head is because we only wanted a snack having a big meal tonight, but apparently the sandwich chef is not in today. So they're only doing mains. Convenient. Sandwich chef. That's very convenient, isn't it? Didn't even know there was such a thing, sandwich chef. There goes the ferryman. Don't pay him till you get to the other side. Now the reason why we're not on it is because we were waiting for him and getting a bit too hungry, weren't we? Yeah. But the funny thing is, so we've ordered a open steak sandwich with chips. Go figure. What you mean? They don't do sandwiches. Oh, I see. But as long as oh, there's a main mean. on their open yeah, sandwich, so yeah. they, they do one sandwich. I see what you mean. Beer in hand, I'm happy. Our open steak sandwich and chips has arrived. But apologies, we are too hungry to show you. So, um, yeah, tough. <laughs> Sandwich has been eaten, <laughs> scoffed in fact, and uh, now we're on the ferry. That's where we just come from. This road we're on from the ferry is very steep. Even I had to stop a few times. Now here's a small cave. No idea what the name is, but uh, Maybe you could suggest a name for this very round cave. No rude suggestions. On Herman Hits the Road today, on Herman Hits the Road's cafe menu today, we are having, well, it's a bit like a fajita. We got chili chicken, uh, onions, peppers, mushrooms, and bacon, and we're gonna put it in a wrap. Yum, yum. Mm. Somebody has a thing for armour. This herd of deer was running a bit fast when they hit that wall. I don't think you're supposed to see that. There's a statue of a foot, ladies and gentlemen. Now, why would you have a secret door in a bedroom? Naughties. She can't get it all in. She's never satisfied. Abby Bells, who's she? Now, do not adjust your screens. You do not have a new presenter. 